Bubble Busters. Hi, I'm Haley. I work at a women's clothing company. Since I work in the fashion industry, all my colleagues are stylish and cute. My work environment is quite casual, so we can take snack breaks as frequently as we want. Our office break room also has a juice bar and a coffee station. My recent favorite drink is bubble tea. I know the hype for bubble tea has died down, but I still buy it because I really like it. I usually buy bubble tea on my way to work and put it in the fridge in the break room. And I'll drink it when I get thirsty. It's become one of my daily routines. Uh, uh that's weird. My bubble tea is gone. What's wrong, Haley? I put my bubble tea in the fridge this morning, but now it's gone. Oh, uh, I see. <laughs> you really like bubble teas. Yeah, I was looking forward to drinking it. Don't you feel full after drinking bubble tea? My stomach is as small as a bunny and I can never finish a cup. Okay. There are many people in the office, so I figured someone might have grabbed my bubble tea by mistake. The next day, I brought my bubble tea and left it in the fridge as usual. After a while, I got thirsty, so I went to the break room to get my bubble tea. Uh, what? It's gone again? What's wrong, Haley? Someone took my bubble tea again. All you think about is bubble tea, Haley. You're obsessed with it. <laughs> obsessed? No, I'm just addressing the problem that someone has been stealing my bubble tea. I'm just a cute bunny and have no idea what's happening. Anger level? 30%. Oh, I'm pissed. Someone keeps stealing my drink, but Monica keeps saying weird things to me. Why is this happening to me? I bought another bubble tea the following day and wrote on the cup with a red pen. Haley's bubble tea. Do not drink. But later, I found someone had taken my bubble tea again. Why is my bubble tea keep getting stolen? Oh, wait, what's this? I glanced at the trash can and saw an empty bubble tea cup inside. That's my bubble tea. I wrote do not drink on the cup. I want you to drink me, Haley. Uh, are you the tapioca pearl fairy? Please, find the person who's been taking me. Haley, are you okay? Oh, boss, what happened? You were lying on the floor beside the trash can. Oh no, I hallucinated because of my devastation. I think you're just tired. You should leave early and go home. Then I told my boss about my bubble tea going missing every day. I see. I've also received complaints from other employees about missing food and drinks. The culprit must be in our office. I'm going to catch whoever that is, for the sake of the whole office. I think you should go home and get some rest. Hi, what are you guys doing? Someone stole my bubble tea again, Monica. In fact, someone's been stealing the things in the fridge recently. Do you know anything about it, Monica? <laughs> I am a fairy from Fairyland, and I don't eat human food. I live on star pieces and morning dew. You're not helping. If the only thing you think about all day is food, you're so greedy that you'll turn into a greedy pig someday. <laughs> Anger level, 60%. Oh my god, I'm only angry because my drinks kept getting stolen every day. Can you at least try to understand the situation before you talk? Yes, you're so scary, Haley. I'm just a good girl who never gets mad over trivial things. <laughs> Haley, you're so mean. Monica ran away, faking a cry. I was already frustrated by stolen bubble teas, but Monica just wouldn't stop agitating me. I need to find the culprit who's been stealing things from the fridge. I looked at the empty cup and started to get angry again. Anger level 100%. Listen up. The impudent culprit who stole my bubble tea and daily pleasure. I will not forgive your greediness and stealing behavior. Time to trouble bust the bubble tea thief and avenge the tapioca pearl fairy. I bought another bubble tea on my way home. Once I got home, I drank the bubble tea and washed the cup clean. Then I poured store-bought milk tea into the cup, added some special ingredient, and brought it to work the next day. The drink I made looked exactly like it was freshly prepared in store. All I had to do was wait for the thief to steal my bubble tea again. Suddenly, I heard a loud scream in the office. Ah! What's wrong? I rushed to the source of the scream and found Monica lying on the floor next to her desk. Monica, are you okay? <laughs> she can't talk. Then I saw the bubble tea I brought from home on her desk. Hey, that's my bubble tea. So you're the one who's been stealing it. 
turns out it was Monica who fell into my bubble tea trap. I kind of already guessed it was her. The bubble tea I made at home has a special ingredient that looks like pearls. Maybe you've heard of salty licorice? It's licorice candy with salmiac salt. Salty licorice is black and smells like ammonia, and it's very popular in Nordic countries. Because of its strong smell and taste, some might say it's the worst candy in the world. I bought some salty licorice and rounded them to look like bubble tea pearls. I heard it has an awful taste, but I didn't expect it to make Monica vomit. Monica? Uh Care to explain why my bubble tea is on your desk? Oh, no, she really can't talk at all. I guess that's very understandable. After all, she just accidentally had some of the world's worst tasting candy, which some might say tastes like car tires. My bubble tea looked like a regular one, so she didn't notice anything wrong before drinking it. She must have chewed on the salty licorice hard like the usual bubble tea pearls. Other employees also gathered around Monica's desk after hearing her scream. Hey, this is my sandwich. That's the snack I brought. Why do you have other people's food and drink on your desk, Monica? Monica was caught red-handed and couldn't make any excuses. It was clear that Monica was the one who's been stealing our food. How can you call me greedy after everything you did? You're the greedy pig. <laughs> uh, everything just looks so delicious. Are you serious? Why don't you bring your own food? I spend too much on fashion. I don't have any money left for food. Uh, so you think it's okay to steal from other people just because you spent too much on clothing? There's no excuse for stealing food. You have to apologize. Yikes. I'm so sorry, everyone. Turns out she had stolen at least once from almost everyone in the office. After she was busted, we had a discussion about what her punishment should be. In the end, we agreed that Monica should treat everyone she had stolen from to an expensive French meal. It's so delicious. It's nice to have an expensive lunch once in a while. Can we split the bill? No, then it doesn't count as an apology. You should have known you'd eventually pay everything back before you decided to steal. Oh, what was that? We also started calling her Hyena Monica after she was exposed. I don't know how she could call herself a cute little bunny with a small appetite. How hilarious was that? A few weeks later, Monica couldn't bear it anymore and decided to resign. She cried and complained to the HR department claiming she was bullied at work in order to get severance pay. Of course, her claim was denied. I guess she has the heart of a hyena after all. Thank you for avenging me, Haley. Pearl Fairy! My bubble tea has never gone missing again after Monica left the office. I know it's just bubble tea. But we should all be able to enjoy the food we brought for ourselves. Mmm, <sniffs> yum. Trouble Busters!